back in the day, in my opinion, I think the best gym in the world, the best fires in the world were coming from where you guys were out of. In Iowa, you know, Militich team, all that. Um, legendary spar. Give us some insight on those. How tough was that room? How What was it like going in there day in and day out? Oh, man, it was tough. So I originally started in Des Moines, and then I moved to Militich about um, three years into – after I start fighting but um yeah I just need like when I started I didn't really I had like tough guys but I wasn't really like getting coached you know like I wasn't really learning so much so uh I fought Spencer Fisher and then uh after that you know like they were like yeah you should come out and train with us and so then that's when I moved over there but yeah I mean I remember the first day the first time I went and just to check it out and me and my friend came and uh i just i remember like tony fricklin was warming up and robbie lawler was there uh, <laughs> pat militage of course and uh so it went in there and then i got stuck with like i got stuck with uh tony fricklin and um and pat militage was in my group I think maybe Matt Hughes a few times, but man, like Tony Fricklin was a beast, dude. He just like, he just kicked the shit out of my legs and Pat was kicking my legs. And uh, it was just, it was a memorable experience. I remember. And like, so basically we got our ass beat. And then uh, <laughs> we, were we, for, each other's backs? we were there for a week though. So I was like, my friend, I was like, Hey bro, I don't like, I was like, I, I liked it because I'm like, I wasn't used to getting, I was like, you know, the big dog. So yeah, I was like, man, after I went there for the first time, just got whooped on. I was like, that's where I need to be. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. I just remember my friend after sparring, I don't know what group he was in, but it was a bunch of killers too. And uh, <laughs> his whole leg was just black and blue all the way up. His leg was just black and blue. And he's like, Dude, you can go back tomorrow, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to go. I can't even walk, and I was like, kind of. I my leg wasn't as bad as his, but I was beat up. But I was like, I'm going back the whole week, and uh, you know, so that just kind of explains like when you first go there, it's like an initiation, you know, like almost like a gang. You know, they're gonna beat your ass, and either you're gonna fucking either you're gonna sink or you're gonna swim. So.